Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about why so many magic cards are stolen all the time and this is after GP New York where a guy's binder, I'm calculating uh, $50,000 uh, after the recovery, um, so he got his binder got stolen. He wasn't a vendor at the event but he was a vendor uh, in general and I guess he was selling or buy listing or trading and that was kind of what why he had so many valuable power 9 in his backpack. Also, the Pats Games, their card stock of $65,000, it used to be $75,000, now it's $65,000, so there's a price discrepancy in uh, what was reported initially to what's being reported right now. And it was stolen, and now it was recovered, and then you hear about these things on the higher levels at the magnitude of $50,000 or $75,000, and you know, even the case in Florida, I believe, I believe it was Florida, where someone got killed for $100,000 of magic cards. That was, you know, a pretty brutal case. And so magic cards are just cash. That's just no other way for me to put it. And if you have a, um, if you have an item, a commodity that can be exchanged easily and liquidated easily for cash, uh, via, you know, and the Austin case, it was they were trying to buy listed a card kingdom and card kingdom, you know, made them offers. And then after the, so 4,700 and then 5,000 and then another, after the third time, the same buyer in Austin is trying to sell these cards buy list. Card kingdom was like, wait a second, something is wrong. Who has this many cards to sell and why are they selling it piecemeal and that quickly? Um, so they did some smart stuff where they added their own cards to it or added other stolen cards. Uh, but it is a huge, huge industry. Um, card, the card games or magic cards are a huge industry with a huge amount of money in it. So you have to treat, when I, I look at people who leave their EDH decks on, you know, FNM, you know, I'm just, you gotta keep a lookout for that. Because your EDH deck could be worth a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars and at the lower end, so we always talk about big GPs, big events, but we never ever really talk about FNMs because it doesn't get the Reddit attention. It doesn't get the news article attention. No one's going to make an article about a stolen deck of FNM. They're only going to make an article if, you know, a GP vendor lost multiple set, you know, multiple pieces of Power 9. I'm looking at the list like right now and it's crazy um, just how much he had in that one little backpack, right? So, and then there's, you know, organized, I mean, it's pretty much like organized crime because someone distracts you and someone takes your bag. Someone distracts you and someone takes your bag. I've heard cases where someone punches someone in the face to take their backpack. And this is what it's, this is at larger events. So um, to say that this is not applicable, uh, this does not apply to smaller events like FNMs or GPT, GPTs uh, is probably not true. Uh, it's probably happens all the time and it's just not reported or it's not heard of uh, outside of that maybe local community because there's it's not big enough. Um, we only hear about the biggest, most massive losses and our, hence our recoveries. So yeah, it's definitely be careful. I mean, your cards are worth a lot of money. I see random EDH decks that are well in the four figures being left unintended while someone's going to the bathroom or being left, you know, in a convention center with a friend that they just met. Uh, and it's crazy because these people, um, even outside the magic community, it is very apparent to me that some of them don't play magic. Uh, they understand the value of these cards and not only the value, the value is a subset. The most important part is the liquidation. You can take your magic card and go to any card shop and if you're willing to take whatever they're willing to offer, you can change it for cash. Uh, for me, I would not take a Tomagoyf and change it for $50, but for a person who stole that collection and may, may, may not play magic, $50 is $50. You know, hey, the person offered me $50, yeah, I'll do it. Um, so be careful, uh, treat your cards as cash because honestly, they have, it's not the value, it's how easy it is to liquidate. And you can go to any city, or you can go online and buy list it to any store all over. Uh, I buy list a lot of dual lands in Europe all the time. And, because they have the best prices. But, it's crazy, right? It is crazy. So take care, be careful guys, bye.